Okay, guys. So my feed just uh, my feed just finished. So I'm starting a new feed. So as I was fin as that feed was finishing, I had uh, my friend who'd been up at the front lines come and uh, tell me how, how this whole situation started. So originally, what happened was, where people were moving the burnt-out trucks on the road. And then from that, more and more people came. So this wasn't something that was sanctioned by the elders of, uh, to have so many people here right now. However, these are unarmed people. And they are being fired upon. They're being fired on with a water cannon, tear gas and mace. They have been rubbed bullets fired. They have tested the LRAD. And they have used concussion grenades as well. Thank you for rejoining. So I did not know exactly what this was or how it started. I was just documenting it because I see what's going on. So right now, what you're watching is people that have come from camp to armed. And you're watching the militarized police firing with a water cannon. You've also seen tear gas and mace. Rubber bullets have been fired. Anyone just joining, this is the blockade on Highway 1806 just north of the camp. And earlier, people were looking to remove the burnt out trucks that were blocking the highway. And then more and more people have joined. Right now, what I'm just streaming is what's happening live. Backstory was just given to me by a friend of mine who's been down there. But what I can tell you is that bridge you're looking at is enclosed on the front by the blockade. It's enclosed to the left and to the right. And the police fire tear gas indiscriminately in that crowd. So the options are inhale the tear gas or trample each other. As you can see, that water cannon is still being used. The temperatures here are below zero. If you're just joining, please share this. These are unarmed civilians. These are not militia. These are unarmed civilians being treated this way. Appreciate the share. Thank you. Also, make sure you call the Army Corps of Engineers. Make sure you call Energy Transfer Partners, all the banks that are financially supporting this. Because this is what people power can do. People power can make a change. There's only a limited number of people that can come here physically. But everyone can pick up a phone and call the White House. Everyone can pick up a phone and call the governor in their state. Everyone can pick up the phone and call the banks that are involved. The more people that stand up, and make a stand and say no more and start taking their money out of those places the more change that will happen so what you're watching is the blockade on 1806 and you're watching war can being used against peaceful border protectors I know the, the screen is really grainy I apologize um, the last feed went, I don't know if that was hacked or whether it just was too long. Um, but you can see that's clouds. So if you're just joining, this is the blockade on 1806. You see a water cannon being fired on peaceful water protectors right now in sub-zero conditions. My friend who went to the front lines to take blankets for those people that, so they don't catch hypothermia was tear gassed so hard she puked and pissed her pants. Because down there on the bridge, it's enclosed. can't go left and you can't go right. So they're firing tear gas into an enclosed space and a water cannon. So 
So as this is going on, I've been told also that are drilling the Missouri River. What you're watching right now is you're watching the military police force here firing on unarmed civilians with the water cannon, with tear gas and mace and rubber bullets. This was not an action that was sanctioned by elders. Um, so the people of Campos were here because they heard what was happening in camp. They come to show support. So I just stood here documenting this from a distance and telling you what I'm seeing with my eyes. I don't know the full backstory. You are seeing peaceful unarmed people in sub zero conditions or close to sub zero. All I can tell you is my hand has gone numb from holding my phone, so it's certainly cold enough, and that's without any water on it. So the water fired down there on these peaceful water protectors is literally going to give hypothermia. <laughs> some very, some very kind sisters just bought me uh, someone to warm my hands up in my pocket. It's very kind of her. Thank you. So, as I say, I'm not down in the center of the action. I don't know the whole backstory to this. All I'm doing is I'm telling you what's happening. And what I can tell you is these are unarmed people, water protectors, who are being fired upon with a water can right now and previously tear gas, mace, concussion grenades, and rubber bullets. If you're just joining, please share this. Thank you for joining. The other feed is still out there and you're able to share that too. If you can't be here, and I know Paul, you were just here and left. Thank you so much for being here. If you can't be here, what you can do is you can pick up your phone and you can call and you can call your governor. You can call the White House. If you don't like what you're seeing here, you can call and make that known. And you can do that every single day. You can pick up the phone and you can call the White House. You can call all the banks that are supporting energy transfer partners. I know Wells Fargo and US Bank, two of them. I don't remember the rest. You can find there lots of information online. And if you're joining right now, though, the world you're watching is water can being constantly used on peaceful, unarmed water protectors. That is a water cannon you see being blasted com continually. Right now, it's so cold, someone had to come and give me a little uh, hand warm to put in my pocket to keep my hand that's in my pocket warm and that's a water cannon that's being used on peaceful unarmed water protectors right now I ask you to share this wherever you are I ask you to tell the story let them know what's being used let them know that this is a water cannon let them know that there's mace let them know there's tear gas make it be known that these are peaceful unarmed people that are being brutalized right now If you're just joining, thank you for joining. As long as my phone has battery and these battery packs last, I'm going to stand here and stream this. If you're joining, comment where you're from so I know this is still streamed live and it's not... It's not... I'm suspecting right now this might be jammed because I'm not seeing anyone l joining or commenting. So this is the bridge on 1806. What you're seeing is, is just up from Cam Cannonball in North Dakota, just outside of the Standing Rock Reservation. This is on 1806. And what you're seeing right now, that bridge is enclosed on the left and the right, and in front of it there's a blockade. They were firing tear gas into a crowd there. So much tear gas that my friend who took blankets down there puked and pissed her pants because they can't get out of the tear gas without trampling each other. So I have the water cannon being used continuously on these people who have stood there. And right now, I mean, I'm losing the feeling in my feet right now. That's, and I've got good boots on. It's cold out here. 
those people down there are going to hypothermia from that water cannon. So that's why people are heading to the front line to go and take blankets. Those outs are clear roadies so people can get from the front to the back to take to take blankets to get medics up there. Esther Tweedy, Lee Hampton, thank you just for joining. Esther, sorry I missed you when you were here. What you're watching is the blockade on 1806 on the bridge here. What you've been seeing is the police firing on unarmed water protectors. They have the water cannon they're watching right now. Justin Chittam's from Medicine for the People. If you could share this, get Narco to share as people need to see this, because you're going to see this on mainstream media. What you're watching is the water protectors. This is the blockade on 1806, just north of Cannibal. And what you're seeing is water cannon that's being used. And right now it's in, you know, it's around zero. So those people down there are going to catch hypothermia. People are taking blankets. There's medics going up and up and from the front line back to camp. So that's what you hear shouting, we clear the road. Also, they've been firing tear gas into the enclosed space on this bridge where there are crowds. When the tear gas lands, you can't go left or right because you're on a bridge. If you try to run, you're going to trample each other. So your people have been inhaling massive amounts of tear gas down there. I just spoke to my friend who came back from there who inhaled so much that she puked and wet herself. All she was doing was taking blankets up the front line to protect those water protectors. These peaceful, unarmed civilians will be fired upon with rubber bullets, mace, tear gas, the water cannon, concussion grenades. If you're joining, share this. There's another stream earlier that was showing this earlier when the tear gas and the concussion grenades were being fired. If you find that earlier stream, please share it. There's about 1.8 million people that have watched it. Share this out to any media that you know. Share this out to any of the big group you are in on Facebook. Make sure this story goes out because this is not what you're going to see. There's mainstream media up on this hill filming this. There's no one live streaming here with us. The only way you're going to see this is through Facebook because right now we're the media. Because the media aren't here. This is the story they don't want you to see. They don't want the American people to see riot, rightfully militarized police firing on grandmothers, grandfathers, your son and your daughter, maybe your mum and dad. These are unarmed people on a public highway right now. That's a water cannon. Thanks for joining us again, Eli. That's like a water cannon being used. They're using water against the water protectors. And the very reason people here is to protect the water. So there's an irony here that they have to use water to try and... I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Disperse? But I'm going to stress again, these are unarmed people being fired upon with tear gas, rubber bullets, concussion grenades, mace, a water cannon. So this is your tax dollars that's paying for this militarized police force. If you're just joining, this is on 1806. This is the blockade on 1806. Please keep sharing this as you're joining. Please comment where you're from because right now I'm not seeing the numbers go up. I'm not seeing anyone joining, so I feel like this could be being blocked. If you're joining and struggling with this one, look on my, look on my wall and you'll find an earlier one that you can share as well. There's an earlier live stream that shows gas being fired to the crowd. It showed concussion grenades being fired. It showed a fire being set and then from the other side and being put out by water protectors. If you're just joining, can you comment and let me know when you're, where you're joining from? Which country you're in, which state you're in?
just my name. It's called Kevin Gilbert. G-I-L-B-E-R-T-T. You'll just find it on Facebook. You're good. I think I'm being jammed right now. I've got a weak connection, so you're fine. Thank you. As you're joining, can you comment where you're from so I know that I know that this is being received or you can hear my voice? I see the numbers jumping up, but I don't see any comments, which is strange. So right now, this is the bridge on 1806, the blockade here. So these are peaceful, unarmed people being fired upon with tear gas, with a water cannon in, in sub-zero conditions. This is on American soil. Okay, I see people joining, but I don't see comments. If you can hear me, please comment. Hey, my friend who is just down the hill. Can you show me can, what you're seeing on Facebook, if you're seeing anything? Ah, okay. To find me? Okay, cool. Yeah, there's one that's up there, yeah. Um, if you... F okay, uh, if you want the easiest way to find my page, go to fb.com slash kevin dot happy chappy. H-A-P-P-Y-C-H-A-P-P-Y. And I'll take them straight to my profile. fe.com slash Kevin K E V I N dot happy H A P P Y C H A P P Y. And that's the URL link for my page. It's just a personal one. Natty Nation, thanks for joining. If you're watching this, please share it. If you can hear me, please let me know you can hear me. What you're watching is the blockade on 1806 just outside of camp here and what you're seeing is peaceful unarmed water protectors being fired upon with a water cannon there's been tear gas multiple multiple rounds of tear gas if you go and find my earlier live stream you will see that live and there was also concussion grenades there have been rubber bullets fired and they also tested the LRAD which is their noise cannon what I'd like to point out is this bridge is enclosed on the left and the right and in front so it's impossible for people to escape the tear gas when it's fired they've just fired again they're firing it way back you see that that is tear gas canisters being fired right now Joe Stewart you've got hundreds of people thousands of people on Facebook please share this The shouts for the road being kept clear. Thank you for joining, Mike. Please share this. I know the, I know this feed is really fuzzy right now. What you're seeing right now is you're seeing tear gas being fired again. Okay, now you guys are, now now the comments are coming. Okay, I see that you the, what you're watching right now is you're watching. Tear gas being fired. You see that? And that's the water cannon. These are unarmed, peaceful people that are being fired upon right now. See how far this is coming, see? Into the crowd. That's the bridge. On that bridge, they're enclosed on the left and enclosed on the right. They cannot go left or right on that bridge. The only way is to all come backwards. So when they're stuck in the middle there with the tear gas, they're unable to escape. They have to either inhale tear gas or trample each other. Yeah, I'm fine. There's another live feed.
Right now, you see them firing huge amounts of tear gas into this crowd. It's literally chaos down here as people are coming up and coming down. This is the road here that you're seeing. They're trying to keep it clear so people can go back to medical. What you're watching... What you're watching is tear gas being fired. That was tear gas you were watching. You're watching a water cannon also being fired into this guy. This, these are peaceful people. These are unarmed people. You okay? Hey, what's on it? Were you just down there? So what you're watching right now, for those who are just joining, this is the blockade on 1806. This is a bridge. Fireworks. Other fucking coaches. Hey. Fuckers. Hey, brother. But it's true. I. So what you're seeing is you're seeing tear gas being fired into the crowds of people. You're also watching the water cannon being fired. Again, these are peaceful. Yeah, I understand news reporters are arrested, but that again brings out the story. I've got a battery pack right now. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm good on the battery pack. Someone lend me one. These are peaceful. You're seeing right now, that's the water cannon you're seeing being fired. What you can hear being fired. Wow, look at that. As that landing in there is tear gas. I want to remind you, what you're watching, these are unarmed. Peaceful water protectors. This could be your son or your daughter. This could well be your son or your daughter. This could be your grandfather or your grandmother. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you can hear. Thank you. Thank you for messaging me, the people that are messaging me. My comments were jammed. I don't know why. If you've got feed perfect. My comments were never turned off, though. That's strange. I didn't do that. You're watching right now, tear gas by the crowd. You can, you can hear that right now. Keep sharing this. Yeah, I'm here going down the sitting with the with that the blankets and stuff. This is a bridge. This is enclosed on all sides. So you see how that's enclosed down there. They're firing tear gas into a bridge where people cannot escape. I wish I could get closer. If I get closer, I'll lose signal. But those are clouds of tear gas that you see. That's a water... That's a water cannon you see being fired in the sky right now. I'm going to remind you these are peaceful, unarmed people. I can't adjust my picture. For those that are just joining, my feed's been hacked. However, but just look at all. Yeah, they're hacking my feed right now. Yeah, you can follow me. I can try and stream live, but it's difficult to stream live from anywhere in camp. But look at. You're seeing more tear gas being fired right now. That's being fired into. 
You see how that's being fired into a crowd? That's on a bridge, enclosed on left and enclosed on the right. They cannot escape. And you're watching a water cannon. Earlier they were firing mace. They probably still are. I can't tell that right now. They were also firing rubber bullets. They tested the LRAD. William, thank you for joining. Please share this. Keep sharing this. Yeah, this is 2016 in America. These are unarmed people that are being fired on by military police with your tax money. If you don't like it, go ahead and make those calls. Go ahead and pull your money out of the places that are supporting the energy transfer partners. Go ahead and share this. Go ahead and tell your friends about this. Because this is the news story that no one wants to get out. This is why there's no national media here right now. Because if they showed this on American television, on mainstream TV, how, what do you think would be the... I know this is in the feed, it's going to keep talking. What you're watching is tear water cannon. Please keep sharing this. I know, I know it's cutting in and out. That's tear gas being fired right now. You see that with the streams in the air. I think that might be our side releasing a firework. It's pretty funny. Your fireworks stop. So you're watching tear gas being fired against unarmed, peaceful water protectors. That's a water cannon. It is below zero out here. So if you're just joining right now, that's what you're watching. Yeah, if you know media, get the media to share this. If they get them, get them to listen to the live stream to hear what's happening. These are peaceful, unarmed civilians being fired upon with a water cannon, with mace, with tear gas. I know the video's coming and going. I can't control that. Thank you for having it on Real Progressives. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Sandy. As you can see, I'm being videoed above right now by a helicopter. They can't escape. That's a bridge that you're seeing. Where they're firing the tear gas into is a crowd that cannot escape. They cannot move to the side to get away from that. My friend just inhaled so much tear gas down there trying to help people with blank by taking blankets down there that she puked and wet her pants. This is their response to peaceful, unarmed protectors. Please keep sharing this. Please keep telling the world about this. This is live right now. You're watching this. This is the, this is the bridge on 1806. Earlier today, they were removing, looking to remove the burnt out trucks. And then from that, this has escalated into this. And the peaceful, unarmed water protectors are being fired upon with a water cannon in below zero temperature to hypothermia out there right now. It also mace and tear gas. When you're watching those 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 streams in the sky, that's tear gas being fired into the crowd. Thank you for everyone that's joining. If you're just joining this is on eighteen oh six this is the bridge this is peaceful, unarmed water protectors being attacked by a water cannon, tear gas. They've got mace. They've got concussion grenades. The things you see being fired is the tear gas. Yeah, my signal's being hacked. It's going in and out, but you can hear my voice. I know the picture's not great. If I get any closer, I lose service completely. Keep sharing this, please. If you want to do something about this, contact the White House. Contact the people that are supporting energy transfer partners. Pull your money out of those banks. Do some research. Do it every day. What you're watching right now is the water cannon, but you're also seeing those streams in the air. That's the tear gas being fired into the crowds. No devil! No devil! No devil! Please keep sharing this. The water cannon 
again, it is below zero right now. So those people that are being attacked with the water cannon are going to suffer hypothermia, which is why you're hearing cars go backwards and forwards to and from the front lines to take people blankets to bring them back to camp. My friend just did that and she ended up inhaling so much tear gas on the bridge that she vomited and wet her pants. You cannot get out on that bridge, you're enclosed on all sides. So when they fire tear gas into that crowd, the only way to escape is to trample each other. No one's trampling each other, they're all inhaling tear gas down there. I want to remind you that these are peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Could be your son or your daughter, your grandmother, your grandfather. Could be your mum or your dad. These aren't armed militia, this is peaceful, unarmed water protectors. Thank you for joining. For the 65,000 of you watching right now, please share this. If you can't be here, please contact. Yeah, I know there's a big lag on this right now. I can't do anything about people swearing behind me, I apologize. <laughs> but just keep watching, keep sharing. Right now it looks like people are moving back from the bridge, I can't see why. Can you see? It's... Might just be... I know it keeps... Yeah, it is cold. You're right. I don't know if the... That what you're watching right now is more... Fired. It's unbelievable. If you're just joining this right now, this is 1806, the bridge on 1806. You're watching unarmed people being fired upon with tear gas. You're watching a water cannon being used at below zero temperatures. These are unarmed, peaceful water protectors. You can see how much tear gas is in the air. <laughs> that coughing that you hear down there, people that have been tear gassed. If you're just joining, please share this. I know my connection's weak, I know it's not the greatest picture. From what I understand, earlier today, some water protectors were removing the burnt out vehicles from the bridge. And then, it looks like the police and the military have responded way above force. These are unarmed people. And you're watching a water cannon, tear gas. Militarized police. Yeah, this is disgusting. He's, this is disgusting. Tax dollars going to us. If you don't like 